Okay, uh, Vikings made a uh, move today. They fired Rick Dennison, the offensive line coach. Um, th you know, that's the headline, but the, you know, the co-headline is that they fired him because he refused to take the COVID vaccine. So I got one word for this, although I'll say more than one word. Bravo. Bravo. Not Bravo Denison. Bravo Vikings. There have to be consequences for these COVIDians. And I have, I have zero sympathy for Denison. Um, because now, a um, day or two ago, <clears throat> um, the NFL put out a, uh, a press release or there was a report or whatever that um, if you have unvac unvaccinated uh, personnel... And your games get, and you and you get a game that's um, that's postponed, and they can't make it up. You take a forfeit. You take an L. You don't even step on the field. You take an L. Because um, the NFL is like, you know, we're we're not going to let <laughs> even the NFL, even the NFL, which has historically been known as pretty pretty right wing. Let's be fair. Even they're even they've understood that, you know, we we can't let these people. These idiots, these COVID idiots, these anti-vaxxers, screw up a whole season. Now they got through the season last year. I'm, I'm seeing the stuff about oh, well, well we just played. I, we played a whole season last year, and every game got played. Yeah, schedules got screwed up a lot though. What, what's the, didn't the Steelers play like three games and like have to play like three games in ten days or something at one point because of because of it? You know, and teams had you know like Denver had to play a game where they literally didn't even have a quarterback. They, had, they played, I don't even know if it was a quarterback that was playing quarterback for them that day. Like, yeah, they got through the games, but, you know, it wasn't a smooth, it wasn't smooth. Um, you know, and they, did, and again, they weren't under penalty um, going into last year that, you know, you're going to have to forfeit a game if, if your game gets, um, if your game gets postponed, they can't make it up because they're they're not you know this train ain't stopping for anybody. They're not stopping for any team. You know, now it's it's based on you know um, if if the 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 covids the covid cases are with unvaccinated players like you because. I'm not going to do a whole COVID vaccine video, but the, the the dumb narrative out there that oh, if you if you can still get COVID after you get the vaccine, then why do you, the vaccine doesn't work? Hey, okay. almost 100 percent of the people who are getting fucking hospitalized right now do not have the vaccine. You can still get the fucking virus. It ain't going to fucking kill you. It's not going to put you in the hospital, except in very very extreme cases. The problem. <laughs> this country right now is the people who are not getting vaccinated. And obviously Denison is one of these fucking COVID pieces of trash. And you know, it was in the report that came out, it wasn't it wasn't they didn't fire him because he's not vaccinated. They fired him the word was used because he refused. It's not it's not, hey I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Hey I'm I'm still on the fence, I'm unsure. And you know I don't know how you could be unsure at this point, but, um, no, it was, he refused. So they had, they probably brought him into a, into a, into an office and were like, flat out, we are going to fire you if you refuse to get this, this COVID vaccine. And he refused. He gave up a, I don't know what he was getting paid, but, you know, I'm sure an offensive line coach is getting six figures, you know, maybe even well into six figures. Um, and he sacrificed that job to die on this hill. Maybe literally. I'm not going to say I hope he gets COVID, but I mean, you know, what a, what a hill to die on. You're going to say, you're, you know, this guy, I mean, this guy's, he's, he's like, I think he's in his early 60s. So he's, he's, he's probably a football lifer. I don't, I don't really know much about his past, but, um, I know he came from like Buffalo at one point. Um, but... So he's probably been 
involved in the NFL for you know decades, and you know he's given that up. Maybe he wanted to retire. I don't know, but he's given this up just to just to die on this hill of I'm not going to get a COVID vaccine. Okay, then you're not going to be a coach anymore. I suppose some team might hire him or something, or maybe, who knows, maybe he'll even have a change of heart or something, but I doubt it. Um, but yeah, so, it's like, what, what, a, what a hill to die on, that you're going to give up your, you know, well-paying job as an NFL position coach, because you refuse to get a vaccine that is overwhelmingly safe and effective. No matter what any fucking idiots, the COVID idiots out there say. You know, the, the vaccines, whichever one you get, they are overwhelmingly successful. They are overwhelmingly safe. Yes, there are, you know, individual instances here and there where maybe some something happens. But that's the case with everything. And this guy doesn't take a genius to figure out where his political beliefs are. This fucking guy is just like, no, I'm not going to do it. I mean, he's, even though he's a fucking 60-some-year-old man, and he won't he won't get a vaccine, that the overwhelming odds are that it's safe and that it will help him. That it will actually help him. That it will actually help him to keep him from ever ever getting this. So I have zero fucking sympathy for Dennison. Fuck him. He's a stupid asshole. And I'm glad he's gone. Um, now, obviously this is not like a perfect scenario for the Vikings because they're like a week away, not even a full week away from start of training camp. And you're changing a major position coach and of course a position coach offensive line, which has been, you know, kind of an evergreen problem for us, but you can look at that, well, <laughs> it's not like he's fixed the offensive line in, in recent years, um, so it's like, it's hard to really say if it's going to help or hurt, I don't think it can hurt much, you know, the timing is, is obviously a thing, but, you know, you still have all of camp. You still have, what, what are we at, like six, seven weeks till week one? I mean, there's a lot of time there, so, and they're promoting from within. I forget the the um, the guy who they're promoting, so it's not, it's not like they're going and getting some guy who's foreign to the Vikings, like, you know, the, the guy who's been here. Okay, got interrupted there, but, um, I th uh, what was it? I was talking about the the effect on the Viking season um, with the Denison thing. Um, you know, it's it's not optimal. It's not ideal to lose a position coach for any reason. Uh, you know, right before training camp. I mean, obviously, very different scenario with uh, Tony Sperano um, in uh, 2018. But you know. You know, in that case, you're going from a good offense, pretty good offensive line season. Here you're coming off, you know, another shitty one. You know, you've got two rookies that you want to break in. Obviously, Derisaw for sure should start week one. Um, and, uh, you know, there's no way to know. There's no way to know as an outsider what what it will mean inside the team. To, to to have a move like this, but it's almost like beyond you know the the football reasons. It's just like this guy's a fucking moron, and he refused to get the vaccine, which can have very big consequences for teams this year beyond just a person's health. And like you're gone, like that's just, that's just how it is. Like there are probably. Look, I know there's a couple of prominent Vikings who have not 
not they haven't been like publicly anti-vaxxer, but um, there's been at least talk that they maybe are not vaccinated or won't be vaccinated. That's a whole other thing, um, and that could be a problem too. Um, you know, and some might say, well, it's unfair that that this guy gets it, and maybe some certain players won't won't uh, get the same punishment. Well, that's that's sports for you. Some guys, some guys can get away with things, and some some can't. Um, but you know, I applaud the Vikings for doing this because you know there have there have to be consequences for these COVID idiots and these anti vaxxers and. You know, no sympathy. No sympathy whatsoever for this guy. Um, so, we'll see how that goes. I mean, I'm sure I'm, I'm sure there will be something from Dennison uh, in the coming days. He'll be, he'll talk about it, and he'll probably try to spin it, because, you know, the, the spidey senses tell you that he's probably one of these Trumpers. So, we know what he'll, he'll probably say. He'll probably cry, accuse the Vikings of fascism or something. Sorry, we want you to we want you to take a vaccine that could actually save your life, and also will help us to not have to forfeit games or to potentially forfeit games. And you won't do it, and you're gone. That's how it works in the world. Um, so it'll be it'll be interesting the fallout from this. I bet he ain't gonna be the only coach in the NFL, you know, or player for that matter. I mean. Certainly, I think the way this goes now, um, you know, when we have preseason training camp and everything, and it's cut down day, there's going to be guys who are getting cut. You know, like if, it, if it's if it's between, you know, two similar players, and one of them is anti-vax, they're gone, and they should be gone. It's like this this fucking virus ruined everything for everybody for a, a long time. We're kind of getting out of it a little bit, you know. Like the people who aren't getting out of it. Sorry, like I don't, I don't have any sympathy for these anti-vaxxers who are winding up in the hospital now. I see it like, you know, let it, <laughs> let the fucking virus just wash over them and wipe out as many of these people as possible. But you know, you know, we're trying to, we're trying to get out of this. We're trying to get back to. <laughs> You know, back to pre-COVID life all the way. And there's a big chunk of this fucking country that doesn't want to do it. They won't take a simple shot in the arm. Like, you want me to, you want me to do my, do my uh, sales pitch on the vaccine? I got the, I got the fucking vi the Pfizer two shots. And, oh, that's been a couple months now since I've had it. Never had any, never had any problems Little little soreness in the arm um, after each one, and then I had a little bit of dizziness the 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 day after the second shot for like maybe an hour. I was like kind of like like dizzy and didn't feel well. Just laid down for a while, and then I felt great, felt fucking great. And I, I know a lot of other people have said that that's like kind of once you're once you're past that you know full vaccination, you feel fucking great. Um. No side effects, no, you know, no, nothing major. I mean, obviously, like, you know, if you ever get any sort of a shot in the arm, you can, you can have like soreness. But it's like, it's, it's not a fucking, it's not fascism to require a COVID shot. It's not, you're, you're not infringing on your fucking rights. Like, just shut the fuck, just shut the fuck up. Get the goddamn shot. Whether you're a fucking football player, football coach, whatever. Stop being a fucking moron and believing what you know Donald Trump wants you to believe, or fucking Sean Hannity or some of these other fucking assholes. It's like they want you to die, and I might want you to die actually if you're a complete fucking COVID idiot. But just get the fucking shot. Don't don't be a Rick Dennison who just that. that mind-boggling that somebody would do that that they would walk that they would essentially 
forfeit a probably six-figure job as an NFL coach just because they refuse to get a, vac a safe vaccine that's going to help them and help the team and help everybody involved. Like, that's the hill you want to die on. So I say bravo, Vikings, for, for making this move, for standing up for sanity. You know, even if even if it hurts the fucking team, like, you're standing up for sanity, at least in this case. You know, and Rick Dennison, <laughs> you got what you deserved, pal. 